Okay, so in our last tutorial, um, you can see we added seam allowance to our basic uh, basic bodice block or E pattern. So next, what we're going to do is basically take this bodice block, uh, full size bodice block, and basically transfer it to one of our let's say multi-page PDF templates and we have a range of different choices you have like US letter A4, A3, A2, A1 and also A0 um, and this simply allows you to then turn these into multi-page PDF documents which you can then print out, you can share, you can save online, you can sell it's completely up to you okay it just makes your, it turns your pattern from a digital pattern into a physical paper pattern which is really really important and very handy um, okay so what we're going to do is um, as I said if you haven't seen the previous tutorial please take a look at that it explains how we get to this point using the cutting table and also the bodice block and how we add seam allowance. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm simply going to, on the uh, tutorial page that you're on at the moment, watching this video, you will find a download link for um, the, let's have a look, what's it called? <laughs> I've forgotten. It's called PDF Print Templates. That's right. So simply click that button, download the PDF Templates zip folder to your desktop, um, extract it, just double click it if you're on a Mac, or extract it using WinZip or 7-Zip. And then inside you'll find a whole bunch of files. So let's have a look. So in illustration, I'm going to go File and then Open. I'm going to navigate to my desktop, and then here, see, we have PDF print templates. And now it's completely up to you. So you can either select A0 if you want to take it to your local digital printers, or maybe you have an A3 printer at home, you could also select this. But let's say let's go for the standard. So an A4, print, uh, an A4 page uh, printer, or an A4 printer. So let's just simply click on that document and click open. And that will open that file up in Adobe Illustrator. And as you can see here, let's zoom out a little bit. You can see it's a very, very large page. Okay, I think we've got maybe like 20 or 30 pages here. And if we zoom in, you can see you get the standard Pattern Lab um, PDF printout. So you have your um, centimeter scale on this side to make sure that it's the correct size when you print it out. You have your page number and also your inches template and we have a little watermark as well. And you also have your um, registration marks when it comes to joining these pages, so really handy. So what we're going to do is, uh, we're going to just simply tab back to our cutting table and our, our pattern. I'm just going to get my big selection tool, and I'm just going to click and drag over this element, okay? Just before we put it into the cutting table, sorry, into the print template, we need to make sure this is one grouped item. So if I simply click and drag, you can see it's not grouped. So we have a tutorial on grouping, please have a look at that um, in the Courses and Tutorials page. Just get your big selection tool, click and drag, and then right click and go Group. Let's check this one. Let's click and drag. Yeah, we have an issue here as well. Get your big selection tool, click and drag over the entire element or the entire block, go right click and then group. And the reason why we do this is because when we start to move these around on our template and rotate them, etc., to obviously get the best possible fit, we don't want to lose elements or lines. So these must be grouped before they go onto the print template. But anyway, these are now groups, as you can see, all selected, all selected, lovely. It's got a big selection tool. We're going to click and drag both these elements, or click and drag over both the elements to select them. Then go Edit, Copy, then go to our A4 print template, and go Edit, and then Paste. And here you go. So I'm just going to simply, these are now pasted onto our A4 PDF template. And so now I'm just going to simply, big selection tool, Grab this, grab this one block and just move it as close to the edge of my paper as possible. Same with this one. And obviously, as I said, if you um, big section tool, click on this this block. In the little corners here, you get a little sort of like rotate arrow, and you can simply just rotate, and you can change uh, the rotation of this block to get a better fit possibly. If you hold down the shift key, it'll lock it to the vertical, the diagonal, and the horizontal, which makes things really simple. Otherwise, you imagine trying to do this, you know, try and get that line perfect. It can be a bit tricky. So if you lock it to the, with the shift key, it'll lock it for you, which is really helpful. There's one thing other, there's one thing else to mention here. What you might find is using that tool, you might by accident do something like this, which is going to break your block. And what that is is basically free transform. These little white arrows here, you see if you move away, that's the rotate. If you go closer in and actually hover over the point, you can basically scale your block. If you hold down the shift key, you can scale it so it's proportionate. If you release the shift key, you can free transform. Now, really not a good idea to play with that tool at all, because if you do that, you're going to break your block. Everything's completely out of whack. Your measurements have changed, so do not do that. You can always go edit, undo scale, or you can just simply delete these and then 
copy in your existing block once again. But let's go back. Um, also, another thing to mention, I know we're going to get a lot of questions about this. This is not grading, okay? By holding down the shift key and scaling this, this is not grading your pattern. It doesn't work. Um, so you can't go from a UK 10, which is this is, to a UK 8 or to a UK you know, 12. You have to go back into the lab. You have to enter those measurements into the profile and draft a block using those measurements. It's the only way you can get a grade. Um, but yeah, anyway, this is just to show you what you can kind of do within the um, print template page and how you can scale your blocks, etc. But I really do not recommend doing it. It will break your block. Okay, so as I said, you can rotate, you can move them around, you can add them to different pages. Just bear in mind um, what your pages are. So as you can see, we have one, two, three, and they're separated by these lines here. You do not want to have your paper, your pattern off the page because you're going to lose this top section. So keep it within the white confines. And also do not overlap your block. This is going to cause problems. And yeah, just try and keep it within the confines in the least possible space or the least pages possible. And then once you're happy with your placement, just simply zoom out. And we're going to go to, let's zoom out a bit more. We're going to go to File and then Document Setup. Okay, because now we need to basically remove the pages that we don't want. Otherwise, we're going to print a document or, st or save a, a PDF which has all these additional pages with nothing on it. So to remove them, we're just going to go to Edit Artboard. So once again, File, Document Setup, and then go Edit Artboard. And these are essentially artboards. So go to just simply click on an artboard and hit Backspace, and that will delete it. And you can keep doing this, you see. Or hold down the Shift key, click and drag over the ones you want to remove, hit backspace, click and drag, hold down the shift key, click and drag over the ones you want to remove, hit backspace. And then to get off the editing of um, your artboards, just simply go to the big section tool and click. All right, so as you can see, we now have our PDF pattern. It's got on six pages. We could probably make it less, uh, probably not with this block actually. Um, but yeah, six pages. So now what we want to do is simply save this document as a PDF. Sorry as a PDF. So simply go File and then Save As and then let's say on your desktop we can call it I would probably name it after the profile so mine is 3C Francesca that's the um, profile that I use to create this bodice block and we're going to call it Simple Bodice Block because we haven't actually made any changes to this and we can just put you know with seam allowance and you can even add if you really want a long name A4 PDF. And then here you want to go to, where is it? You want to save it as a Adobe PDF file. Okay, so click Adobe PDF and just click Save. This will then bring up a dialog box that gives you a few options. Now, if you want to save this as is, um, where it's not actually protected and people can edit it if they want to, then simply just click Save PDF. If, however, you want to add some security to it to prevent people from editing your pattern, so they can print it, but they can't, they can print it, view it, but they can't actually edit it, then this is where you'd do that. Also, I would just simply remove these uh, ticks here. It's not very important. It just gives you a slightly smaller file size. And just go down to Security. And here we're going to go, so we have some options. Require a password to open the document. So you don't want to cl um, click this because obviously they won't be able to view the document. But then we have use a password to restrict editing security and permissions. Perfect. Let's click on this one and let's add a password. I'm going to put password. There you go. You can obviously come up with something a little bit more complicated and more secure. Also here we have, so printing allowed, yes, high resolution. And you have some options here. And also changes allowed, you want to go none. No changes allowed to be made to this document. And enabling copying text, images, and other content. If you have images on here which maybe you don't want people to have access to or text, then simply remove this as well. But you do want to enable text access of screen reader devices for visually impaired. This just simply helps them uh, understand all the elements of this pattern. And that's about it. So all we do is simply click Save PDF. And then once again, type in your password to confirm, so that's password, click OK, and it might give you this warning box, I don't often get this, but just for me just click don't show, it's fine, let's click OK, and there it saves your document, so let's have a look, so here it is, this is our 3C Francesca simple bodice block PDF, A4 PDF, double click it, should bring up, um, hang on a minute, one second, let's just open with 
do I have Adobe Reader? I should do. Ah, my lord, I don't have Adobe Reader. Okay, that's why it's coming up in Adobe Illustrator. So it'll take me a little bit of time to actually download that. There you go, Acrobat DC, that'll do it. Um, it'll take me a little bit of time to download that, but essentially um, opening this in PDF Reader will actually display a uh, a multi-page PDF document where your pattern has been broken up into lots of different pages and I'm going to do a little tutorial just to tag that on the end of here so you can see exactly what you get. Um, another thing you should probably do as well <coughs> is actually save this not just as a PDF but also as an Illustrator file just so if you need to go back in maybe you've made a mistake perhaps let's cancel this perhaps you've realized when you print it out that you've actually very very slightly overlapped these patterns or maybe that's let's say your artboards so you're going to need to adjust it, and it's always good to have the editable version. So let's just go File, to so correct your block, we'll go File, Save As, once again. And this time we're going to go for Adobe Illustrator. We can keep the same file name and click Save. And just simply, this is all fine, leave this as it is, click OK. There we go. And there you can see we have an Adobe Illustrator version of that file. So we have the two of them. One which is locked and you cannot edit uh, for selling online and one is the editable version which you can either share or possibly sell if you want to or you can adjust yourself. And then also you have your existing pattern which is here and I would probably recommend saving this as exactly the same thing. So 3C Francesca simple bodice block with seam allowance but without the A4 PDF. And then you have full control over all the elements of this pattern. Just click desktop and then save as Adobe Illustrator. And that will no longer be the cutting table. It will be uh, the the raw pattern, which you can then adjust later. Okay, so lots to take in, but uh, really, really interesting and very powerful tutorial, especially when it comes to transferring or transforming your digital blocks into paper patterns. Okay. Okay, so as promised, let me just show you this. Now we have our Adobe... Um, what do you call it, Adobe Acrobat downloaded. Let me just show you this PDF that we produced. So let's just zoom out a little bit. So as you can see, um, our pattern has now been broken up into individual or multi-page PDF, multi PDF document broken up into individual pages. There we go, which is awesome. And as you can see, it's only six pages long because we removed the other one. So that's looking fantastic. Okay, so really simple. If you have any comments or questions, please feel free to leave them in the comments below and we'll try and answer them. Always best to um, do them online rather than email us directly just so we can, the whole community can share uh, that comment or question and get answers to their questions. Okay.